Listen, y'all. Pool area, girl. All I want to tell y'all is Halloween and shit like that. I know y'all like Halloween. Yeah. I'm over here with the tree. One of my one of my favorites. One of my favorite trees. He's so beautiful. One of my favorite trees. He's so beautiful. But um, anyway, she kind of thick too. Girl. But um, yeah, happy Halloween and shit. These my Halloween socks from like last year. Yeah, boy. Um, yeah, it's two types of people. All right. And I, I'm going to say it like this, like, there is, I got in the shower, got all cleaned up for y'all, put my spiritual outfit on, my all black joggers to keep the spirits away, and I got in the shower, I'm all nice and clean, you know, brushing my teeth and everything just for y'all, because, like, you know, y'all gotta understand where all this shit came from. Like when you hit, when you when you do um like this right here, like y'all don't understand what this with the A Rab and all that scarf is about. Y'all don't even know first of all, y'all don't even know that y'all is A Rabs. Y'all just don't rep y'all style. Cause all A all Arabian is is a certain type of lifestyle, basically. It's the same thing as um It's the same thing as pretty much anything. Like, um, being Arabian is, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all, I told y'all, the, the, a lot of North Africa is Arabian. The whole, matter of fact, go look it up. Um, Arabia. Go look it up. I'm trying to tell y'all. If you go look that shit up, you're going to find out that those is traditionally y'all. Because... It was a part of Africa that split up. The north and the south, they ended up splitting up. It's the desert part and the jungle part. You know. Desert part and the jungle part. So with with me saying that, I wanna let y'all know that like it's 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 real easy to be confused on who you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's real it's real easy to be confused, like you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see, looking through this camera is like being me. Looking through this camera is like being me right now. Look. Look. I'm just looking around. It's me. But, what y'all gotta understand is that this shit is a simulation. Like, and y'all always think when I say it's a simulation, y'all always think, oh, he's joking, he's... He's never joking. There's two, there's two types of people. There's people that wear suits and there's people who consider themselves to be Arabian. And the people who wear suits, they all follow the Illuminati. So that means I, I, I would, I'm not picking sides and choosing sides, but that means if your heritage got any type of Indian, that means you have Persian in you. Or because y'all going to say Middle Eastern and shit. No, that's fucking who... Middle Eastern and then then where where's Africa if that's the Middle East and India because it's right next door from it. It's not even like if lines if nobody ever gave the if these aliens never gave y'all these lines and shit to, to to go off by maps to say what territory is what because that that's broken down from a bigger a biggest perspective that's really somebody else's space that whole New York State or that whole Georgia. That line is traced out for a certain energy. So all those energies are obviously separate. So obviously it must be them people was fighting over the shit. You know what I'm saying? So So basically what I'm saying is if you ain't wearing an Arabian scarf, then you lost. If you dark skinned it, because there's light skinned ones that's still keeping up with the tradition. 
You know what I'm saying? Like they're 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 light Arabians and there's dark Arabians. It don't matter which. You know what I'm saying? Arabians is basically a mixture of African and, and Indian. That's all that is. Just a mixture of African and Indian. That's why I be trying to tell y'all. I know every I know everything that I got in me. Like, but this is what y'all need to start doing. Y'all need to be like, wait, should I have this on? Cause y'all see, if if a lot of y'all is Muslims, y'all supposed to wear the same shit. Like, I'm just saying, y'all supposed to wear this if y'all Muslim. Like, Christians, see, they don't wear this because Christians are on a let's wear suits to church shit. Do you get it? See, the style of being Arabian, they coming through, they coming with gold on and diamonds on their fucking head and shit. You know what I'm saying? They coming through flossing like the kings that they was in the beginning. See, the Arabians just, the, like, like Saudi Arabia and... Y'all just now hearing about Dubai because now people go in there for music videos. But before y'all didn't know what Dubai was, yeah, it's very rich. It's very rich. Yeah, and they, you know what they doing? They still fighting the whole of this shit down. They still fighting the whole of this shit down. Y'all not holding y'all shit down. Y'all go put a suit on and be basically a working person which is basically somebody who works for the devil because if you work you work for money and if you don't work and you're making money you're still selling your soul for the money but that is the time that we're in that's what I try to tell y'all so y'all gotta know who y'all really is y'all need to do um an ancestry test. Like, I just need to do that because just to give yourself an idea of what you... I mean, if you really use your third eye... Because I, like, I already knew I was a lot of the shit that I was before I even got my DNA tested. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And then I just... Was, I went off from looking at what they told me I was and then I dug deeper into the roots of where the people that originally was there, where they went and where they lived and... I track down everything about that, so I know what 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 sides of countries they ran and stayed on and stuff like that. Like Mansa Musa, like y'all not related to him. Like it's a lot of black people out there in America right now that's related to Mansa Musa. He used to be the richest person in the world, and he was black, and he used to wear shit like this on his head because that's the that's the only way they stunned it. That's that's how that's how they get. That's how they get dressed. That's they. That's just their whole style. You know, that's how they. That's how they do it. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I had to tell y'all about the movie Aladdin. Cause Aladdin, they, 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 they kind of smart, but they kind of like you never heard them say nothing about Africa or nothing. They in the desert the whole time. Yeah, India got a desert too, but y'all don't get what I'm saying. So, Aladdin, they basically was taking, they was showing you in Aladdin that, like, when they went inside the, the lion's head and they was going to go get the genie. See, this is a big world. That's why y'all got to watch these movies instead of looking other places for answers. Like, looking up, y'all got to... It's always going within. Like, you watch the movie and you go within on it. And I seen that they kept saying Arabian, Arabian, Arabian. You seen you seen all the black people in the background. Like, you seen it? They ain't, they ain't how that, they ain't how that shit at all. Like, Aladdin is, Aladdin look like, kind of like how my mother is, actually. Exactly. Kind of like the same skin color type shit. I just wanted to tell you, they always taking away all the credit. Well, y'all called it Africa, so maybe the people in Aladdin, they wrote that shit from a, a like, a somewhat, a, like, a real story. You know what I'm saying? So, maybe that's why, maybe that's why they didn't really give Africa no credit, because Africa don't exist, really, to all of them Africans that live there. Africa don't exist to them. 
They, everybody call that shit land. Like, everybody call it land. Everybody. Everybody call it land. So, with that, I wanted to just switch it over to black and white floors. I know it sounds bouncy, but that's what I wanted to tell y'all. So, black and white tile floors. You know, it represents, you know, pretty much that things can be an illusion. Like black and white floors. Like if you're in a mansion and you go in and there's black and white floors on the floor, then, you know, you could be stepping into an illusion or you could be basically fucking with somebody who know how to do magic. Because people that do magic love black and white floors. People, you know, they understand what kind of energy that shit brings. Because that shit brings balance into the whole energy of the room. Like, y'all don't understand how that shit be working. But, that's why I try to tell y'all, just, just understand what's going on around you. And look up the meaning of black and white floors. So anytime you see them. You can know, all right, let me go look up what black and white floors mean. But it's, it's, it's basically a ritual, so just, you know, but I got this other one coming soon. But like the video and share this. We about to make this a good video, okay? That's what the fuck we gonna do. Now... I just I just gave y'all the whole concept about the uh, black and white floors and if somebody got black and white floors in their houses, like basically nine times out of ten they could do magic. They know it. Like they not going people. They don't basically don't know house. Just come with black and white floors. No house. No house just comes with black and white floors. It just don't happen like that. Somebody ordered them shits. It's so much easier to say, all right, just put one color. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'll be trying to tell y'all. Y'all got to pay attention to everything. But just like your whole, all right, like your whole thing, I, your, the whole thing with your life, period. Just you breathing your breath alone. That's you. You get it? That's your life. Like, you're, that's just air. But it's your life, because without oxygen, you wouldn't be even here. So you're a part of that. You got to understand you're a part of that. The whole wind and trees blowing, you're a part of that. Quantum physics says that you're a part of that. It ain't no way. It's like. It's two types of people. Ones that wear suits and the ones that was in the jungle. That's it. And it and the ones that was in the jungle, yeah, they was living they was living nice. They was living good, but the ones that was in suits ain't living right. You know what I'm saying? So that's just to start that all off with quantum physics, like the study of quantum physics says that right now, like I know all of this is just a wave of time that we're in. And I'm talking to y'all, but y'all don't, some of y'all don't understand it. Some of these, some of these people that subscribe, they understand that. They really, they, I right, people that subscribe really understand that. Like for real. Damn, it's so hot. But Y'all gotta understand that this life y'all living, this shit is illusion, it's a simulation, it is all holographic. All of it is all holographic. Every single light proton. Every, like, it's just like, wow, like, how many light protons is in one cell? Like, who, if, who keeps up with all of this math? Who keeps up with all the things that's not seen? God do. He do. This is why animals 
And that's a fucking no-no. Like, animals put you close to the death. You know? I mean... I don't know. I think y'all, I, I, y'all twisted. Y'all are some twisted freaks sometimes. Like y'all really, like y'all is crazy to me. Like I don't know, bro. Like <laughs> I know my angels that's that's with me. I know they know what's going on, but it's I'm here. Do y'all understand what that means? Like when an angel shows themselves. They, it was God's calling for this. So if you don't like the video, then God know that you ain't like it when you should have liked it to help other people when this is only positivity. I'm out here getting bit by mosquitoes to, well, not right now, but I did. So like, I just feel like, Y'all not really, y'all not ready for this change. Like, y'all, sometimes that got me thinking I showed up, I showed up to this earth, everything happened in a perfect way, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people wish they could be living during a golden age, none of y'all is going to be living when a golden age comes, it's not. All y'all could do is prepare for the golden age at this point, because you will be reincarnated if you ain't prepared for the golden age you won't go to see that you know what i'm saying like you won't you won't even know that shit's going on <laughs> you'll be so goddamn sleep but it's like i'm bringing you another video because it's like i gotta i really care for these these new subscribers it's like now i'm i'm really ambitious kind of like to make these videos like, i've been because if god once god tell me i gotta do it i'm ambitious See, I'm I'm like that. Yeah, I want to be like that with dumb shit. See, once God tell me, oh, it's time to do this, then all right, well, we it's time to do this shit then. Like, there ain't no switching up and changing shit. Y'all got to understand how magic work. And all the people that know magic, like, there's a lot of witches and shit. I see y'all on YouTube. It's witches and shit. And... They're on my frequency. Y'all don't understand girls as witches and shit like that. They're on my frequency. They know, they understand, they're going to understand a lot of this shit. They know about the universe. They know about the afterlife. Y'all don't know about it because y'all too busy faming it. Y'all too busy doing so much shit in life that you even doing bad shit. Like, if you doing bad shit that you know you ain't supposed to be doing, then you don't care about, you don't care about the consequences. So, I'm seeing a lot of people getting led in the wrong direction, and mm, it's really, really sad, but I can't be sad if I'm fighting to do this shit. I'm fighting to help y'all, so I'm not gonna be sad. Y'all think Captain America or Superman, when he whooping some bad guy ass you think he feel bad no because he know he doing the right thing it's like with me like i don't gotta worry about me joining illuminati i know people was thinking that first oh he gonna be illuminati mm -mm. i mean i'm i'm, I'm already Illum I'm, I'm i'm already illuminati i'm already that you get it like you know it's only two it's only two wars going on and it's a spiritual war. So if you don't, if you're not involved in helping in this spiritual war, you gotta shut the fuck up. Cause all this flat earth bullshit and like y'all, y'all got real crazy with that flat earth shit. Like y'all got real good. Y'all even had me questioning shit. Y'all was like, wait, am I an illusion now? But it was no way I was gonna fall for that shit. Because they had all types of agents. Just people pushing something too hard is just suspicious to me. If you trying to, like, if you got good weed and you trying to sell it to me or some shit and it's mad good and you just trying to get rid of it, it's going to still be suspicious. Like, anything you do and you're going too hard, it's going to look suspicious. So, I don't know. Y'all fall for the tricks. Y'all fall for the losing. Y'all fall for the basketball, sports, the fake wrestling. 
Y'all love it. Y'all love it. All the fake wrestling and everything and shit like that. Man, I love it. Y'all gobbling it up. Y'all gobbling it. Y'all gobbling these damn superstars up, too. Like, every time somebody, something happened with somebody, like, wait, wait, wait. it don't matter. If they go up in the news media, y'all make so many fake fucking clickbait videos. Like, y'all make so many fake videos about, about clickbait. Like, this shit be crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like clickbait, like y'all still going for that? Y'all ain't on, y'all ain't on, y'all ain't on like Cardi B kids and shit like that. I'm on clickbait or lying, lying and saying Tay K getting out and just lying, just lying on shit just to get clicks. That's not cool. You you trying to mislead? You trying to make people waste their motherfucking time? Like y'all can't be doing shit like that. Y'all y'all flooded y'all flood the YouTube with a bunch of fake videos and I watch y'all do this shit. I watch y'all. Like, I see y'all on Nature Boy ass. Like, I don't even need to be on his ass. Let him do his teachings. Like, y'all y'all can't slow him. Y'all can't slow the other person down because y'all trying to hold him back. Yeah, it just don't work like that. To slow them down, you must be going faster than them. <laughs> That's what you got to realize. You got to go faster than them to slow them down. But uh, this was just a quick... Motivation on some 444 shit. You know what I'm saying? This was just a little motivation. A little motivation for y'all to keep y'all pushing. But I got another video coming up. So just listen for the knowledge and wisdom. And successful. Wanna have a successful day. And every day. That's it. You just wanna have a successful day using the law of attraction. And doing what you feel like is the most creative thing to do. But like this shit is thank you. What I'm about to start the video off with coconut water. I got I usually don't drink this coconut water right here, the one with the um pineapple on it, but when you are vegan, just having plain coconut water all the time is good, but when you actually get another fruit in there, it's like it feels different. It feels like, yeah, like damn, wow, this really feels different. But um, so I got that and I got I don't even drink this kind of water, but I'm in the sun, so I have to put I have to put that shit in my body. And I got the I got the banana. Do I think that's an organic? I'm not sure, but I ain't even looking right now. I'm not even paying that that no attention. I'm about to get high. But yeah, that's it right there, man. This shit will charge you up for a good. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to even have to eat till it starts getting dark. And it's... What time is it? Oh, it's 2 o'clock. Right, it's 2 o'clock now. This is basically a lunch thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really eat nothing at all today. Like, so... That's that.